I could see where the, the, the perception comes um, in the public eyes um, with the recent drawing that occurred, no? But the way we operate, we operate on a schedule. Um, BL dispatches power to us, and depending on the energy needs of the, the um, country, we generate power. And this is through our VACA dam, the VACA hydroelectric facility. So when we generate power, we release water. And this is normally released at a steady rate. The perception I think people get is that we, in order to see a surge in San Ignacio, we'd be releasing a, or, or there would be a huge volume of water leaving our facilities. And none of our facilities are really equipped with surge or these, these floodgates. So what residents of San Ignacio would see through normal operation from our VACA facility is a slow rise in the river. And that would come up gradually, and it would probably be about 8 to 10 inches from, from whatever um, river level or height it would be at. And the way we generate power, normally the, we increase our generation based on the demand. And that would normally be between 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock in the morning, which we would increase our generation. San Ignacio residents would probably see that water getting into San Ignacio around between 3 and 4 o'clock in the, in the evening. And that's basically what they're seeing. But it's not a surge. It's just a gradual rise. What we are in, in process right now, I'm going to contact the, the Department of Environment and NEMO and see if we can probably put some sort of information, not really a warning, right, but to advise uh, people along the river that, you know, there may be um, slight changes in the, in the river flow conditions that, that's based on our generation. But there is no major flood or, or huge current of water that, that, that would come down. But it's just an, an, an information process that we're looking at. Uh.